Hey guys, it's Mike here again with Viper Paranormal. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build an inexpensive infrared light for your night vision cameras. Here's what you're going to need. First you're going to want to go out and pick up an infrared light bulb. Now where am I going to get an infrared light bulb, Mike? Well, I'm glad you asked. I picked this bulb up at Walmart. I paid about $6 for it. What it is, is an infrared heating lamp for reptiles. So uh, you can get these at Walmart or pretty much anywhere that sells animals and things like that. Uh, you can get it there. You're also going to need one of these guys. This is a uh, clamp light fixture here. You can pick these up at Walmart as well or uh, just about any hardware sto store should have these things. So uh, you've got your light and you've got your fixture so now it's time to get started. Now here's the difficult part. You're going to want to get a couple friends together to help you out with this. You're going to take your bulb and you're going to take your fixture and you're actually going to insert and screw the bulb in there very very difficult and once your bulbs in there you're ready to go uh, as soon as it gets dark I'm going to show you how this thing works but first I'm going to show you a few tips and safety precautions about using this light first off we are going to be using an infrared heating lamp and this lamp is going to get very very hot so you want to make sure that all of your team members are aware of this because we don't want anyone getting burned and trust me this light will burn the crap out of you this light runs off of electricity, so as long as you have somewhere to plug it in, the light is going to work. Um, make sure that your camera does have night vision capabilities, otherwise this light is going to be completely useless. If your camera does not have night vision capabilities, you can always screw a standard light bulb into it and use it as light like that. So uh, let's check it out and see how it works. Okay guys, here we have our setup here. We've got the uh, SL20IR set up here at the top to compare to our new infrared light that we have mounted here to the bottom. You can see the light inside there and we've got the uh, mounting light fixture here. We've got it connected to the to the tripod here. Basically you can hook this uh, pretty much anywhere you want to. If you look at the light you'll notice uh, that it is giving off some light and uh, the reason the camera's picking this up is because it is sensitive to infrared light. Um, so let's go ahead and do a demonstration. Okay, here we are in night shot. We're using the uh, infrared light that the Sony camera provides. What you, you're seeing now is the wall. It's about 12 foot away. You um, can't really see much there, so we're going to turn on the SEMA SL20 IR. And as you can see, that really brightens the room up. And uh, what we want to do is we want to try to get a similar effect using our new infrared light. So we're going to cut off the SEMA. And we're going to come down here to the new light if I can find it. We're going to turn it on and bam there you go almost identical um, actually I would say that uh, the infrared light that we just made is probably a little bit stronger again we're gonna turn our light off and we're gonna turn on the SEMA there you go and we're gonna turn the SEMA off just using the light that the camera provided and we're going to cut on our light. So, uh, as you can clearly see, this is a very, very powerful light. So, uh, just be careful when you're using it. Remember, this thing will burn the crap out of you. So, stay clear of it. And uh, there you go. Well, there you have it. An inexpensive and effective infrared light for your night vision cameras. Don't forget to check our website out at www.viperparanormal.com. I want to thank everyone for watching my videos. Please comment, rate, and don't forget to subscribe.